What's good, guys? Welcome to Canada. It's really cold, boys. I have a cold. Anyways, what's good, guys? It's your boy, Trip Gaming, over here. Today's video, I have a big cold, guys. It is super cold out here. I'm literally wearing my winter jacket, and I'm wearing a robe underneath, and I got the fireplace on. I got a fireplace in my room because I'm cool like that. But today's video, while I try to recover from this cold in minus 50 weather, and then Celsius, not Fahrenheit, we... Let's get hyped, boys! We are going to be showcasing to you guys today the updated, up to, up to date, new Triff Pendulums. The, only the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh deck on the planet for only the best and greatest fan base in the world. The updated Pendulums, blessed by yours truly. Now before we get into that, little shout out to Robbie Cole and Jonathan Moore for unbanning your boy! Your boy's free from Zodiac! He just got unbanned, baby. Shout out to them. Let's take this winter jacket off. Boom! Let's take this fireplace off, and let's get started on the video. Updated pendulums. Updated pendulums. You guys don't know what you are in for over here for the updated pendulums. In fact, Rome's coming off too, boys. We're gonna stick with the t-shirt. I have two versions of Triff Pendulums. Version number one is consistency. Consistency. You're putting up three interruptions in the gates every turn, no matter any hand trap. Forget any hand trap, no hands brick. This is it right here. The consistent version of my deck. Where you put up three no matter what, no matter the situation, no matter how bad your hand isn't bad. You have 13 spells, uh, the turbo cards kind of spells, that's 12, 13, 25, 15 good cards, one of each magician, but two harmonizes because magician's brick. I'm going to get into it with the exact count and why. No brick, cards are brick. Two worms, two jackals, one of each magician only because they all brick. Uh, one of each, you have the utility, you still have access to the utility of the magicians, and that's why people play the magicians, and I will get into it uh, more in depth later. But look at this, I'm just going to do shuffle, like, I'm going to shuffle random hands, look at this. Four spells, chronograph, that's broken beyond belief, that hand. Uh, another one. Harmonizing, allure, like, razor, chrono, broken. Every hand's broken, and none of these, like, look at the first five. Look at the first five, like, abductor, shrine, like, bro, look at the first five of any, every single hand. Broken, the first five. Broken, that five. Pen call, dark worm. Broken, again, you got chronograph, abductor, scales, like, shrine, allure, upstart, chrono, jackal. And if you notice, like, what, seven in a row with three, four interruptions, they are broken. Hand traps don't stop it. Every single hand is busted. That's why I love it. So, without further ado, we are now going to get into the reasoning behind each card and why we play it. So you guys can go ahead and destroy your opponents as well. Because everyone knows Pendulums are the best deck. And the people that don't know that are the ones that don't play my version of the deck. If you look at other versions of the deck, it has like 6 hand traps, 3 avions, uh, 25 magicians instead of like 8. Like, it bricks like crazy. Uh, they've been, like, bro, I saw, uh, YCS Milan, uh, there's some round 8 feature, pen feature match. The guy had double Avion and Impermanence in hand, and then he showed his hand, like, oh, I can't do anything. Look at my hand, well, bro, that's three cards. You give me three cards in this deck, and I'm giving you three negates. Uh, this deck is incredible. I highly recommend you play this version. Now, here's the reasoning behind each card. So, Abductor is the best card in the deck by a landslide. Because you got three Abductor, and you got 14 spells... 3 Chronograph, which leaves us 17 spells. 3 Razor, which leaves 20 spells. You play 20 spells. That is busted. Like, that is unbelievably busted. With Poison and Black Fang also leaving the scale, 22 spells where you can search any single card in your deck. That's insane. Abductor is a must. No questions asked. If you're not playing Abductor, just buy. Good night. Next, 3 Chronograph, obviously. Uh, it's in 1 at the OCG, but they also got Astrograph, so who cares? It does, as long as it's at 1, Konami can't bring us down, period. Konami unbanned me. Zodiac did the same. I expect the same treatment from you guys. Next, three mythical beasts, Cerberus. Obviously, you need to play three. Uh, going second, it's incredible. And it's another turbo card. And it gets rid of a bunch of cards on the field that are problematic. House for OTKs, etc., etc. Three Curtain Razor. People have took Curtain Razor out. I don't know why. You want to have as many... Uh, taking Curtain Razor out of your deck is the same as saying, Hey, uh, Sky, uh, you know, Engage? Engage is a good card. Let's only play two. We already play, We already played two. Why do we need a third engage? Why do we need a third engage? We already played two in the deck. 
That's the same reasoning with why people don't play Curtain Razor. Hey, we already have 10 turbo cards. Why do we need 13 good cards? Like, the best card in the deck to draw is a turbo card. So why do we need to play three more good cards to draw? We already have 10. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. I'd play 40 Curtain Razors if I could. So we're playing three Curtain Razor without a doubt. Don't, no questions asked. Next, two Dark Worm. You don't need three. You do not need three. You only need two. You only need two. Worm is actually not that good. You only want the Shrine or Foolish part of it. It's okay to draw by itself because it's a plus one, but you don't want to see too much of it. So two is good. I want to see some time, not all the time. Okay, next. Two Jackal King. Sometimes I desire to banish both my Jackals, but it's okay. You need two no matter what. I was debating playing three because it's one card interruption, but every single Electro basically sends the Jackal. You need Jackal. Uh, yeah, sometimes you do uh, Dead Draw Cerberus with full scales, but don't matter. You need the... Uh, Cerberus Jackal, you need it. I'm going to explain more. I'm going to have a combo later where you could get a free Metaltron sometimes for completely free, but you still send the Jackal. Like, Electrum, if you don't have access to Jackal, your Electrum better send the Jackal. Because in order to put up three negates, you need one interruption, one one card interruption, right? For four card for four interruptions, for four interruptions, you need three one card interruptions. So the only time you put up four, four interruptions on board is when you have access to Janky and Double Jackal, and the other would be a Vortex. Which happens a lot, but you can't four negate unless you uh, hard draw one of those, uh, unless you hard draw two of them. So if you hard draw, for example, Cerberus, and if you hard draw Pendulum Call, your last Electrum sends the thir a third Jackal, and you got four negates, because three negates by one Janky, when Pencall gets Janky, Cerberus gets Jackal, you have two Jackal, a Janky on board, and then a rank, uh, rank four, rank seven interruption to stop, like a rank seven interruption vortex to stop uh, evenly, etc., etc. So. We need two Jackal, and almost always, 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 with Electrum, always, either send Cerberus or Jackal with the Electrum. If you have access to Cerberus, send Cerberus if you don't need anything else on the scale. So, for example, let's say you open whatever, you open blah, 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 you pop the blah, blah, blah on the scale, add Cerberus, draw a card. Cerberus, bring out Jackal from deck, special Cerberus with Jackal, make, it a, make a Metaltron with the Electrum, and now you can pen three monsters from the extra deck, and you have one one card interruption in Jackal. If you also had another Jackal in the extra deck and a Janky in hand, just like that, you got three one card interruptions, and then like all the space in the world, just go rank uh, four, rank seven card to take care of your opponent. Next, two harmonizing. You don't need three. It's actually overkill. Magicians suck. In fact, I don't even want to pen summon harmonizing from my hand. Harmonizing at two is all you need. Because a lot of the times, believe me, believe me, you're just summoning two jackal and a janky from your hand anyways. A lot of the times you want to summon the janky from your hand because there's a lot of plays with Tornado Dragon uh, where you make a Vortex, pop Janky, get a free negate. Uh, the interrupt, Janky's uh, power, is, I used to think this card was Janky, but it's not Janky whatsoever. It's actually incredible. I do highly recommend it. Uh, sometimes you don't want to pen. Uh, sometimes Harmonizing just becomes a dead Harmonizing. Believe me, Harmonizing, you don't need too much of it. Two is all you need. A lot of the times you don't even want to pen summon Harmonizing because I mean, uh, you, you, there's no space, right? Believe me, two is all you need. Three is sometimes too much. You don't want to draw Harmonizing. In fact, you don't want to draw any Magician. Uh, any All these uh, Magicians I'm about to say and Gate Zero and Jackals, even Dark you don't really want to draw them. They're just like, maybe drawing a few of them is good, uh, two or three of them. What you really want to draw is a three Abductor, three Chrono, three Cerberus, three Razor, and all your spell cards. You have 14 spells and 12 Turbo cards. You want to draw those 26 cards. That's why we try to cut the 40 cards here. Instead of 60, get the hand sure we draw those 26 of 40 cards. And you saw the, the random hands I was showing you. I shuffled like 20 hands in a row. Not 20, that's like 7 or 8 or something. And every single one of them, we're busted. We drew 3 or 4 of those 26 good cards, and we won. You still need to draw those other 14, if that makes sense, in terms of plusing and in terms of stuff that's going to be in your scale. So you're still drawing those cards, but those aren't what, what win, you the, win you the game. Win you the game is the 26. These 14 help, but the 26, which is the spells and the turbo cards, is what really win. Uh, next... One of each other magician for utility. One wisdom eye. Because sometimes you want to send it with Electrum to bring out the scale you need and get a free wisdom on board to get a free level 4 going and a free plus with Oath. Oath for the plus. Pit is absolutely necessary. You need two level 7s. I prefer a second pit than a second janky. I would like a second janky in here in case you banish it. But uh, you want to cut the magician count, like I said, to an absolute minimum. Absolute minimum. Like, absolute minimum. These 14 cards I'm showing you guys right now you want, this is the absolute minimum, minimum, minimum amount of cards you can play 
uh, of the of these ratios, but you have to play all these cards. You see these cards that are bringing down to the bottom. You need to play at least two Worm in case you draw one. You need to play at least two Jackal in case you draw one, so banish one. You need to play two Harmonizing in case you banish one. And one of each of these magicians, one of each, one Poison, one Fang, one a Time Gazer for their utility and necess necessities. Gazer obviously for Kona, but Poison and Black Fang are still necessary. I tried to run it without them, but you find too many times you need the scale effect. And their uh, destruction effect is also very good. And Gate Zero obviously need to run one for the Worm. So... These are all, you don't, do not play any more of these 14. <clears throat> but the 12 turbo card is necessary. As for the spells, I also believe it's a necessary number. Now we're going to bring back to where they were. But those 14 monsters I just showed you, do not play more of those, do not play less of those. It's the perfect ratio. The only thing that's debatable is a third harmonizing, and that's it. If you want to play 15, go ahead. But I, I couldn't cut anything else. It's perfection. Uh, now for the spells. Oh, before we get into the spells, it's perfection. Like I said, you can't cut the turbo cards. So you can't even cut Razor to two. You cannot do that. You need to. If I could drop play seven Razors, I'm playing seven. Do not cut Razor to two or zero. You're an idiot. Make sure it's at three. Now, as for the spells, this is where you win the duel. <clears throat> I tried Foolish and Three Shrine, but you're obviously gonna dead draw too much. <coughs> I'm really cold. I have, a, I have a bit bad sickness, man. Canada's too cold out here, boys. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Two Shrine and one Foolish is the perfect number. I tried with my 60 card list. Obviously, you're going to play more of those. And you're going to play cooler cards like the Strudo and more one card interruption, the Dragon Ravine, and more cool combos. But that's for the cool factor. This is for the win and event factor. This is the best deck and the exact perfect ratio to the point, to the absolute card. 39 cards of this list is not perfect. All 40 is perfection. Next, you need one Foolish, two Shrine, no matter what. Three Panko, two Alliance. I would love to play six Pendulum Call. This card's busted. Well, your opponent's not expecting it, and you get... It's not just the even. Like, you, don't, you don't just discard and get the Magicians. Every Magician you get is going to give you a plus. Always going to give you a plus, and you got the Pen Call. Harmonize is going to give you a plus by the Summit. Plus two. And if you Pen Call Dark Room, don't get me started. But whatever you Pen Call, whatever you discard is typically like the second Pen Call, the second Desire, the second Shrine, right? So, you don't... Well, the card you discard is not... A good card or like a dead Cerberus or you're gonna send a dark spellcaster for the following turn to bring out or black fang because also gotta bring up the you also you always want to have a dark spellcaster in grave to have access for black fang and you also want to have you know, any magician even to pendulum summon oh to always have access to one of them to all go plus one so typically when you discard a pen call is coming back in your hand eventually in the, in the duel so don't even worry about whatever you discard pen calls busted obviously electrum pop up right now electrum's at one Obviously, you use Electrum first, and then you get it. It's busted, and it really helps you for next turn to make sure Phoenix, Nightmare Phoenix doesn't pop your scales, etc., etc. Uh, next, I would play 6 Pendulum Call, like 3 Duelist Alliance, but you don't want to draw in a 40-card deck. You don't want to draw it too often, and if you were to draw 3 Pen Calls, it would suck. Uh, sometimes, I find 5 perfect. Do not play 4. 5 is the absolute perfect number. You want to see Pen Call as soon as possible, but 6 was a little too much. In fact, if you open two pen call, it's also okay. Because like I said, you just pen call a pen call away. So it's all good. Next, through your lore, literally every card in this deck is dark. Literally. And the spells literally get a dark. If it's not a dark, it gets a dark. Abductor will get a dark. Uh, Service will get a dark. And all the spells get dark. So you're literally playing 37 dark monsters in your deck with three lore. Why on earth would you not play a lore? Next, double desires. I would like to play uh, third desires. But obviously you don't want to draw a second. And it's a good enough number. Like... Two Desires honestly is good enough. I want Upstart to make it 40. I prefer a third Upstart over a third Desires. Just to ensure, yes, it's good that you always want to see Desires. But at the same time, uh, in a 40-card deck, one Desires, your, de your deck's left at 10 cards at the very after your combo piece. Com after you're done your combos, your Desires, your deck's left at 10 cards. Uh, you're only re resolving one Desires anyways. Uh, I prefer the third card be an Upstart over the third Desires. And lastly, uh, Colossus. <clears throat> Some people say, oh my god, uh, Triff. Pen God, your deck does so much searching. Colossus is going to hurt your deck a lot. Thunder Dragons are piss. Thunder Dragons are piss. It's a free double if you face Thunder Dragons. So who cares? All Colossus stops is Pen Calls. Uh, stops five cards in your deck. And a Cerberus. And that's literally it. The rest, let's say, for example, Dark Worm, you still get it on field. Abductor is still a Pendulum Monster. It doesn't affect it. Cerberus is still a Pendulum Monster. It only stops the Pendulum Calls. And believe me, <clears throat> they know that. Uh, they know it only stops the Pendulum Call. Eventually, they get rid of the Colossus anyways for Titan. Colossus is garbage, and that's why we also have Borload in there, and Borload Sword, both of them. It's easy to just have them not see a Borload coming, take their Titan win, believe me. Uh, 
Thunder Dragons are nothing to be scared of. This is absolutely the best ratio whatsoever. And just for one garbage deck, you don't want to affect your deck too much because you want to ensure the consistency against every other deck. This is the perfect main deck. Do not at me. Do not question me. Do not even say Pen God. Are you sure? Should I play three? Shut up! Do not play three desires. You play this list. It's perfection. Next, onto, onto the side deck. We play seven hand traps, all of which are level three. There's a reason to that being level three. I like to play Droll, but you cannot. It must be level three to ensure that if you draw too much of it going second, which was always the issue with Pendulums, uh, you're going to be able to make the Dragster. It's, dragster is extremely, extremely important. I go into it almost every single duel. I'll get into it later. These are the seven best hand traps at level three. Ghost Ogre sucks his format. Reaper is the best because of the FTKs. It uh, uh, literally stops them. Uh, and the Gumbler hand loop. And seven is enough in a 40 card deck. Next, you got two Reboot, two Twister. Uh, those four are good for every single trap deck. And uh, for Strikers, you got two Twister, two Hey True Nade. And if you want, you could play something else, but the deck sucks. So there's no need. You have such a great matchup. You don't need to overside for decks you have a great matchup against. Uh, I want to see Thunder Dragons. I want to see Strikers. Pendulum is the best matchup against those decks because you just OTK them easily. In fact, every, every deck is the best matchup for Pens. The only stuff that beats Pens is FTKs, which is why we've got the seven hand traps ready to destroy them. And Soul Day and Saryuja to stop the slash drop decay, which Jesse made with Joshua Smith copied. Uh, and uh, a Soul Day to stop everything else. On to the extra deck. We got Electrum, obviously. Land for Rockets is way better than Wee Witch. Nightmare Phoenix because it's necessary. Metaltron and both Boros. Both Boros are necessary. 100% necessary. If you want to put Unicorn in there, that's debatable as well. But that shit gets tight. You need these six without question. I don't even want to hear it. You need Land for Rockets. You need this or Wee Witch. And this is way better than Wee Witch. You need Metaltron. You need both Boros. They both come up crazy amounts of times in this format. Trust me. And you need Nightmare Phoenix. If you want to put Nightmare Unicorn, go ahead. But you cannot take out these six. I would only take out Unicorn for a Karen Gorgon. But I find Karen Gorgon coming up a lot more often. Next, Dweller Tornado. Both needed for many reasons. Uh, Dweller stops almost everything right now. And Tornado, well, the good decks at least. And Tornado, aside from Mendel, Tornado uh, is both offensive and defensive. Helps you put up an interruption on their turn. And if you use it on your turn, you pop your Black Fang. If you didn't, uh, and then bring out another level 4. Bring out a Janky if you make Vortex. So if you go rank 4, rank 7, Jackal. Let's say you pen summon 2 level 4, 2 level 7s, and a Jackal. You go into Vortex, Tornado, Dragon, rank 4. So you have Vortex, Absolute. Sorry, Vortex, Tornado, Dragon, Jackal. And then use Tornado to pop your Black Fang to bring out the Janky. Now you have 4 Negates. 4 Negates is extremely easy to put up in this deck uh, if you have access to that. So you pen summon 2 level 4, 2 level 7s, and a Jackal. You're going to end up with a Vortex, Janky, Jackal, and a tornado, which stops literally literally everything, and your, your opponent will not be able to stop that. Uh, and you're only pen summoning uh, of the full five, you're not overextending, so you're going to have cards in your hand as well. Uh, so my typical board is Janky, Jackal, Vortex, and uh, Tornado Dragon. And if you didn't normal summon that turn, try and save the Jackal, and you contribute summon over the, the Metaltron, and have five negates. But that's how it's done. Uh, Evil Storm Nightmare is the best rank four in the game right now. Actually, way better than Dweller, so you must play it. If you have a chance to go into Evil Sword Nightmare, which almost everything is dark, Curtain Rays helps for that as well, you just go into it because it's absolutely incredible. Against everything but pretty much Thunder Dragon and, and Sky Strikers, My Evil Sword Nightmares are incredible, and it's your go-to card. Uh, Karen Gorgon is a card that you go into when you face uh, Sky Striker, and it's auto-win against them, and uh, Dweller against Thunder Dragon, and everything else, you're lit. Uh, lastly... Uh, 101 is the last rank 4 we play. It comes up so often to uh, make sure you OTK through Sky Striker and Thunder Dragons. Uh, those are the two decks you're going to be facing the most. And you want utility in the extra deck. The reason why this deck is so good against them is the extra deck shits on them. And it's extremely easy to out their uh, boards. I wouldn't even call it boards, but whatever. Uh, lastly, I took out Naruto. But if anything, I'll take out Naruto for either King Gorgon or 101. But King Gorgon and 101 just come up way more often. Naruto does not come up that much for me. Next, Absolute Vortex. Dragster. MVP is Dragster after Electrum and Extra Deck. Because harmonize it, pen harmonize it, bring out Time Gazer, you got yourself a Dragster. S after side decking, you have seven hand traps. You're probably going to draw two. And the decks you side these for, every deck in the world sucks with pendulums. So typically, you're going to be left with one or two of these cards, maybe even three in your hand. You don't want them dead. Pen summon them, get out a Dragster, win the duel. Next, Omega. Omega is also very, very key. Try and go out to Omega almost every duel if you can. What I do sometimes, I go into Omega with Harmonizing. Try to save your normal summon if you can, because you have so many, uh, uh, so you have 15 turbo cards. 
12 uh, monsters and one foolish double shrine, you have 15 turbo cards. And if you draw the worm in conjunction with your five pen calls, you have 17. 17. But you have 15 in a 34 card deck. Five cards say draw two. That's to my math, 29 cards in your deck. So you have 29 cards in your deck and you have 15 turbo cards. Do the math. You have 50% chance of drawing one and every two, which means in an opening hand of five, you're going to have 2.5 turbo cards. Make sense? Triff math. So if you're going to have two turbo cards every single opening hand, that's math, you are going to be able to make Electro without normal summoning. If that's the case, don't normal summon. Uh, you make Omega with the harmonizing, Oath effect, add the harmonizing. Normal summon the harmonizing, make a dragster. And then Omega, the reason why it's so good is because after you get rid of one card in their hand, it's still interruption, you get rid of one card in their hand, right? And then you go into Dragster, and when Omega eventually dies, you bring back the Electrum. That's why Omega is very necessary to do it the first turn, because when Omega goes in Grave eventually when it dies, and they're going to neg to get rid of Omega. So when they do, he's like, ha, got him! Joke's on you, we want it in the Grave anyways, bring back the Electrum, they don't see it coming, you wreck their shit. That's the deck. It's the best deck in the world, and I'm the best Yu-Gi-Oh player in the world. Shout out again to Robbie and Jonathan Moore for uh, unbanning me from uh, Zodiac. Your boy's back in. Hope you guys like the video. Make sure to subscribe to my second channel and this channel, especially the second channel. We're doing crazy vlogs soon, and vlogs not just including fitness or Yu-Gi-Oh, but also picking up girls just because. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe to this one as well. Have a great night, guys. Peace.